Life is that uh, no one cares very much who's just gone off the field, it's who's coming on that um, is uh, bringing enthusiasm from the crowd. A standing ovation for a young cricketer walking onto the field. BC Lara. Off the mark for Brian Lara. That went at terrific speed. Gave the man a deep third man no chance at all. It went in the air. Well, for a small man, he gives the ball a tremendous thump. Cut that high over gully. Third man's had no chance of stopping that. Good shot. First one uh, down towards third man went in the air. That went very, very fast along the ground. Uh, the danger man, Tony Pigott, is having his own problems this over. Not much wrong with that, perhaps a little bit of width on it, the length was good. Lara so quickly into position, on the back foot, and he's hit it all along the floor, square of the wicket. The slip's disappeared now, slip was in there just in case Lara was to make a, an error early in his innings, he doesn't look as though he's going to. That's a good stroke, broken the shackles there, he's clubbed it straight down the ground, just away uh, past Pikett's left hand. It's a good shot. It's a little classic. First one is bowled round about Lara's pads and it got the treatment. Well, he can stop him taking a single by bringing the field in. If you're going to bowl it short and wide outside leg stump, just flick you away from there all day long. Control, timing, and precisely placed between those two men out. Deep fine leg and deep backward square. Some wonderful stroke play here today. The Surrey batsmen were very good. This is magnificent. Cross between a sweep and a pull. Kept down all the way. Lovely place to be, the Oval, this afternoon. Watch the man taking strike, who made 501 yesterday. Now he's facing Joey Benjamin from the Vauxhall end. Wonderful stroke. There was just a gentle little back cut that was perfectly timed. That really is a phenomenal stroke. There's nothing edgy or streaky about it at all. He gets back and across, plays it off the full face, cutting it fine of the man at backward point and square of third man. And look at the rate that that ball's going. Stewart's glove, then Thorpe, and it's got Thorpe on the knee, so he's in trouble. There are a few people coming over to uh, see how he is. Doesn't look very good at all. It's got him on the kneecap, I would say, and uh, he'd be in terrific pain there. Elbow, kneecap. I suppose we can throw in the groin there. They're just about the most painful knocks you can get. Good shot. A dangerous customer has shipped in. 
second off drive that Asif Din played. Using his feet this time, giving himself a little bit of room. Graham Thorpe looks recovered from that blow on the knee. Nothing too serious, thank goodness. Out. James Boiling deserves that. He's fell well out there. Asif Din has gone. And now this is going to be a very competitive afternoon. 19 for Asif Din before he was caught by Cameron Cuffey off James Boiling. Nice little spell of bowling from the off spinner. A good bowling from James Boiling, but no need really for Asif Din to do that. He'd already hit a four, three balls before, looking to launch that one over mid off. Now Dermot Reeve, the skipper. 158 for five. Reeve is a tough character, and he has Brian Lara with him. A good shot because seven men were in the ring, and uh, Reeve decided the first one up had got to go. Yes, that should be enough to create some more space for himself. Good shot, because it was straight down the ground. Nicely placed. Got the elevation right, got the direction right. And now there's a bit of a change round there. The current run rate has slipped below the runs required. It hasn't been that way for quite a long time. In fact, for most of the innings. placement again and that's what most good judges this season have see, picked out as the highlights of whatever Lara has done yes it was almost within a dive's length of Graham Thorpe at extra cover once it had got past him it was absolutely no chance for the man on the cover boundary Fielding side can't really compete with that. Those faint little edges fly away through the vacant slip area and they're over the boundary before you can actually move. <laughs> 200 comes up. Diving misfield from Cameron Cuffey. Beautiful, delicate, fine art. And Brian Lara reaches a half century. Beautifully delicate stroke from Brian Lara to take him onto his 50. Well, that was interesting. I just wonder whether he got back. He certainly stumbled down the pitch like a tired man. Well, there was never a single there in the first place. Quick piece of fielding. Sent back by his captain, Dermot Reeve. Cracking shot. He got into position so quickly that he was able to hit the ball not only in front of square, but in front of mid-wicket and along the ground. And with tremendous power. Into position, spots it short. Look at the follow through on that high back lift. Huge follow through. And that's gone almost through straight mid wicket. Oh, great shot. Let me pick up that point about the back lift which Paul Allard made. Here's a batsman like many others who've come before him from the Caribbean who look to score every ball and the defensive play is simply a rejection of the occasional ball now and again. Just look how high the bat goes in the back lift. 
beautiful full arc of the bat right up there oh too good for first slip and too good for third man it's uh, four runs that was well played of its uh, variety of the open face and just found the gaps Oh, it's in the air, just wide of the field up in wicket. Well, over the last couple of overs, Dermot Reeve has played some peculiar strokes. And this one, it's a half pull again. He's got there, but he's looking to sort of chip it at the end. Shot. Been waiting for it, just sweating on the over pitch delivery. Gave it some tremendous hammer. Not sure Cameron's going to like that very much. Well, it would seem that the threat is on the other foot, as it were. And uh, Brian Lara dismissive. Beautifully bold, a lovely slower ball. Lara gave him the charge, and Hollyoke has slipped it underneath his bat. That is very well bowled, a wonderfully well disguised slower ball. The stroke completed before the ball arrived, that was the key there. Bottom hand coming off the bat. That's normally a sign of exactly that. Doesn't bother to look around, the rattle of the ash behind him. Not what you'd call a familiar sound. It's now 2.51.46. Trevor Penny is the new batsman. And no one's going to be too pleased with that. Just bowled the finest batsman in the world at the moment. The next one's a full toss outside leg stump. Well, it's the sublime followed by the ridiculous. What a shot. Coming down on the charge to what was actually quite a good delivery and then placing it and hitting with such power. Two more needed from six balls. That's done it. No mucking about there. Just good old fashioned smash down the ground. Well played by Dermot Reeve and a very good win for Warwickshire. They look to be in trouble at one stage. And uh, they.